two non-zero masses, M1 and M2, are connected by a massless string over a massless pulley. Draw the free body diagram, write the equation of motion, assume non-zero friction. We're also told that M1 is accelerating to the right. The following forces act on the mass M1. The normal force from the table on the mass acts vertically up. The gravitational force on the mass acts vertically down. The tension T in the string acts horizontally to the right. Why? Tension is a pulling force. It always pulls away from the object. It always acts away from the object. If it is to the left, it is a pushing force. It is Tension is a pulling force, so it has to be to the right. Since displacement of mass M1 is to the right, force of friction FF has to be to the left. The following forces act on the mass M2. Since there is no surface, no normal force, the gravitational force on the mass W equals mass times acceleration due to gravity, where M is M2 times G acts vertically down. The tension T in the string acts vertically up. Remember, tension is a pulling force. It pulls away from the object. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. You watch and learn, you do and learn, you play and learn, you pass and learn. Isolate the non-zero masses, define directions, positive x, negative x, positive y, negative y. Draw all forces acting on this isolated mass. Indicate the direction of acceleration, if any. So we are told that mass m1 is accelerating to the right. So we definitely know that there is going to be a net force on mass m1 and that net force is to the right. What are the forces acting on the mass m1? So we isolate mass m1. We isolate mass m1. What is to the right? Tension. What is to the left? Force of friction. Why? Because the object is getting displaced to the right. Force of friction will be opposite. So tension is to the right, force of friction is to the left. What acts vertically up? Normal force. What acts vertically down? The gravitational force, M1G. What is the length of the tension compared to force of friction? The length of the tension force has to be greater than the length of the force of friction because there is a net force. It is not zero, it is accelerating. It is accelerating to the right. Along the horizontal, along the horizontal, what do we have? What force is greater? Net force is M1A. Bigger force minus smaller force equals net force. So T minus force of friction equals M1A. Along the vertical, what do we have? Net force along the vertical is equal to zero. So you see normal force is equal to M1G. So those are the two equations of motion. And here is the free body diagram for the mass M1. So we close mass M2 and look at forces acting on mass M1. All right, so let's again review. Tension is to the right. Tension is to the right. Normal force is vertically up. Gravitational force is vertically down. Force of friction, force of friction is to the left. We expect the tension arrow to be greater than the force of friction. So let's draw the tension force bigger in length compared to force of friction. So along the horizontal, T minus force of friction equals M1A. Along the vertical, normal force is equal to M1G. All right, for mass M2, we close mass M1. And what are the forces acting on mass M2? So we isolate mass M2. We have tension acting vertically up, and we have gravitational force acting vertically down. Which force is greater? Gravitational force is greater, why? It is accelerating down, why? M1 is accelerating to the right, so M2 has to accelerate down. Net force on mass M2 is vertically down, so you expect the downward arrow to be bigger.
and the downward has arrow has to be more than the upward arrow which is the tension. So what is the equation of motion m2g minus t equals m2a. Let's also do the vector sum. When we do the vector sum on mass m2, t is up, t is acting vertically up. Gravitational force is vertically down and acceleration is vertically down. So immediately you see that t minus m2g equals minus m2a multiply throughout by negative 1 on both sides and what do we get? Negative t plus m2g equals m2a or m2g minus t equals m2a. All right. So by common sense and by vector sum, we get the same equation. So let's do the vector sum on mass m1. On the mass m1, we have normal force acting vertically up, gravitational force acting vertically down, tension is to the right, force of friction is to the left. All right, by vector sum, net force along the horizontal equals m1a. T is to the right. Force of friction is to the left. And acceleration is to the right. So you get T minus force of friction equals m1a. For mass m2, we already did this. Let's do it again. Tension is acting along positive y, so it is positive. Gravitational force is acting along negative y, so it is negative. And acceleration is down, so it is m2 times negative a. So you get t minus m2g equals minus m2a multiplied throughout by negative 1. And what do we get? Negative t plus m2g equals m2a. Rearrange. And what do we get? m2g minus t equals m2a. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.